Yes, I believe the last time I was in Mexico City or this area was nine years ago. So a lot has changed, a lot has passed. I'm sure no one remembers me from then. So I got to start from square one and show everybody what I'm all about and why I've been all over the world. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, Tough Enough was a TV show. I've kept in touch with most, if not all, the trainers since then. So I get to keep in touch with Stone Cold Steve Austin, which was unexpected and been very awesome. Uh, I was ready to phase Daga. I've heard a lot of good things about him. I heard he's an up-and-comer. I heard he's a very good uh, professional wrestler. And I was looking forward to testing my skills against his. Uh, I don't know if my promo hit too close to home, or if he was he was scared of this beard, maybe, or, or what. But uh, just the high flying, the uh, the costumes, the masks, all the whole culture about it. Very interesting to me. I've always loved. I've always been enamored with the whole culture of uh, of the mask wrestlers. And I'm I'm too pretty to wear a mask. I'm too good looking. Who knew? I don't want to take anything away from these ladies, but. I wish I could wear a mask, it'd be cool. A lot of the Dragon Gate guys, you know, like you said, they've been down here in Mexico before, and, and I, I bring a little bit of a different style. Uh, not as much high flying, a lot more high impact. Uh, I'm a lot better looking than all of them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited that, uh, that they've seen the Dragon Gate style and they're gonna see me now. Oh, I'm excited to be here, for sure. You know, it's been uh, 14 years and I've uh, never wrestled in Mexico, so first time being, I'm excited. Lucha Libre style, you know, the, the speed that the wrestlers go, you know, it's constant, you know, and the high flying, obviously. So, yeah, that's the difference. Mexico's awesome. I've had a good time since I've been here. CZW world champion, representing world title. So, I'm here in company to represent the company, so I'm excited. No sé si llegaban tres figuras de la lucha independiente norteamericana. El Chuck Taylor, Matt Cross y Masada, ¿no? Era apenas lo que se veía antes, ¿no? De la función de Coacalco. Sí, sumado a uno más que estuvo en el asalto aéreo como lo fue Latin Dragon para esta función que se vivió en el Coliseo Coacalco. Y vamos a vivir lo que se dio en estos eventos internacionales con una muy buena entrada. Esto fue lo que presentó FCK en el Coliseo Coacalco y también una...